character, Big Booty, born in the projects and bred in the streets, Cassandra has been on her own since age 14. She learned how to make her way out of no way. From boosting clothes to credit card scams to sex, doing whatever she had to do to survive. Big Booty. <laughs> Chapter 36. Ten minutes later, I'm stepping out of the ladies' room with a fresh coat of lip paint and gloss on my lips, swinging my hips when Big Grizzly steps out of the men's bathroom. Our eyes meet, and I grin at him. Yo, Mama, what's good with you? You sexy as fuck. I stop. I was watching how you bounced that ass up and down on the dance floor. You was popping that shit like a champ. That shit's real tight. I grin. Glad you liked the show, boo. Oh, no doubt, Ma. You had my dick going through it. You definitely got a homie feeling like getting into something nice and wet tonight. Fuck what you heard. You had sexy with it, too. What's your name? I eye his ass real easy like, taking him all in. Ooh, he's uglier than dog shit. <laughs> but he's over six feet tall and smelling like expensive cologne and loads of dollars. Just how Big Booty likes him. But that waist is a bit too extra for me. And judging by the lump in the front of his Gucci sweats, it looks like the gorillas hung like a beach whale. <laughs> is he fuckable? Yes, sugar. If the price is right and with the lights out. <laughs> I glance at the diamond beauty ring, the encrusted diamond watch, and the iced out chain around his thick neck. Oh, it's definitely possible. <laughs> Shit, I fucked worse when I was trying to keep a roof over my head. The name's Cassandra. Oogie Bear licks his lips. Oh, I eat. That's what's up. <laughs> and you are? Cashmere. But homies call me Cash, with a C for short. And why is that? Because they know I'm all about making that paper, and I dig making it rain on sexy ass bras like you. I grin. Then tonight's your lucky night, Big Daddy, because I love tricking homies like you up off them dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> Yo, that's what it is. So, how about we get back over to my booth over there in VIP? Let's toss back a few drinks and get acquainted. You cool with that? The homie doesn't have to say shit else. <laughs> I swing my ass over toward VIP. While well, he follows behind watching it shake, bounce, and pop. When we get over to his booth, the tall, sexy, uh, tall, black homie I had my eye on earlier is sitting in the booth with three other guys. All dipped in jewels. There are four $300 bottles of Krug, a bottle of Crown Royal, and a bottle of Ready XO on the table. Look at that, doesn't introduce us. Rude ass. <laughs> Instead, he grabs a bottle of ready and a bottle of crud. Then he tells me to follow him around the booth. I walk him back, look, glancing over my shoulder, and I quickly flick my tongue out on the slide. <laughs> Oogie Bear waits for me to slide in the booth. I then slide inside the eye. <laughs> um, you trying to pin up in this booth? He chuckles. No harm, Ma. I'm only trying to sit close to your sexy ass, and I have a few drinks with you. But you want a motherfucker who sit across from you instead? Then I will. <laughs> <laughs> this banter goes on for some time. <laughs> Jump ahead here. This homie got me real juicy, and now Big Booty wanna fuck. 
You like what you're feeling? I keep loving it. So, we fucking tonight? Maybe. He opens and closes his legs. Nah. I ain't trying to hear no maybe. I want to fuck you. I want to run this dick all up your back. Real shit. Now let me get them panties. Shit, Big Booty's pussy always smells sweet. This one we don't know. I laugh to myself. Fuck. Boy, his change is gonna be like snatching crack from a blind dope fiend. <laughs> this motherfucker must not have gotten the memo on me. I'm always looking for the next come up. I smile, lifting up my seat, hiking up my skirt, and sliding my panties off. Mercy. <laughs> I tell him to pull out his mandigling. I watch as he slips his hand down into his designer sweats, lifts up, and fishes out his ding dong. <laughs> My pussy starts juicing. As I open my bag and pull out my tube of platinum wet, then the squeaky sweats up on my head and starts stroking his skin. It's long and thick. Oh, God damn it! This ain't no dick. That's a motherfucking arm! He tells me the shit's 12 inches long and it's 6 inches thick. I press my leg shut, imagining this anaconda going deep, drilling the oil from out of my pussy and ass. Oh my <laughs> Lord. Come on, man. My pussy twitches, my asshole clenches. Lupe <laughs> Fiasco's bitch bag starts playing, and I slowly stroke it, my rhythm matching that beat, swirling my hand over the head of his dick. It's the size of a plum, and I want to slide down under the booth at table and bite into it. Feel its juices squirt into my mouth and all over my face. But I ain't a slutty one, so I don't. I lean into his ear and moan, mm, You ugly motherfucker, you are a big, big ass dick. Daddy, mm, long black horse cock. You want to stuff my pussy and ass with it? Yeah. Ma. Ah. Shit, yeah. I want to bust your shit up. <laughs> he puts my thong up to his nose. Sniffs my pussy. I quickly dive my slippery hand up and down around the head. Lick the crotch. You want to taste my wet pussy? Yeah, ma. You so sexy ass bitch. With my panties, motherfucker. I eye him as he runs his tongue all through my panties. <laughs> this nasty guy done got my pussy on fire. I keep stroking him, imagining his lapping tongue all over my pussy. I squirt my lube into my hand, then twist my body so that I can work the <laughs> guy over with both hands. <laughs> Grinding my pussy down to the leather seats, his voice dips to a husky whisper. Ah, oh, shit. Ma, jack that motherfucking dick. <clears throat> I take one hand off his dick, and I reach in the back of me and pull out my butt plug. <laughs> I place it to his lips. Tell him to lick it, and he gives me a crazy look. Yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It's an ass plug. I pulled it out of my fat ass. <laughs> it was literally so <laughs> He takes it from me, glances around the club, then sniffs it. Lick it. Let me see how nasty you are, motherfucker. Reluctantly, he finally licks it and slides the shit into his greedy mouth like it's a deep-fried chicken figure battered in ass juice. Oh, this is nasty, and I love it, goddammit! His dingling seems to get hot.
God, if that's even possible. Come on, give me that diggling juice. Bust this dick for me, Danny. Jesus Christ. His head rolls back. Fuck. He groans on the music. This guy don't even give a damn if someone hears him or not. But the music is on blast, so it doesn't matter. Oh, don't matter. I hand fuck him through three songs till he finally shoots his cock cream all over the house. I keep stroking every goddamn dropout, then let go. My hands are coated with his nut. I lick two fingers, tasting his cream. I lick my lips, scooping some nut off my other hand, then slipping my fingers into his mouth. He sucks on them. He's got a warm mouth and a wet tongue. Feels good. I pull my fingers out, then grab napkins off the table, wipe my hands clean. Ah, shit, you mad nasty, Mom. Of course I am. <laughs> he wipes himself off, does his tingling, back down his sweats, then pulls out a knot of green. Yo, real shit, Mom. You a bad bitch. I'm trying to see what's good with your sexy ass. How can I get at you again? He slides me the roll. I grab the knot, toss it into my bag as he slides out of the booth to let me out. I glance around the club. The homies and bitches still dancing, popping bottles and talking shit. I don't know if Nuts done dragged Dickalina's ass out of the club, <laughs> whooped the shit out of her ass, but what I do know is I just nutted this guy up out of five grand. I grit bringing my attention back to him. If you want to get at me, you'll have to find me. With that said, I step leaving this guy's eyes locked on my ass as I make my way through the sea of drunk ass guys and ho ass bitches. Yeah, ass right, pussy tight, titties right. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs>